What is up my crazy subscriber, this is JokingJohn64 here bringing us more Call of Duty Black Ops 3 multiplayer beta gameplay in the background. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys do, make sure to leave a like in the video. So anyways, moving on to the main topic of today, which is about Rainbow Six Siege. So a week ago, the beta released, and um, well, the first few days were chaotic because the servers were shit. You know, according to several big YouTubers that I've seen around like Stone Fox Media and several others, um, a lot of those people couldn't connect like straight up on PC and there was a total shit. A lot of people were lagging. I uh, heard that many people were actually one second behind in connections. So you can pretty much just get killed like out of random and you know, the enemy will just pop in. Also, I heard there was some visible players, a lot of weapons not loading in. Kind of similar to Battlefield, you know, pretty much Battlefield was a total fuck up in day number one in Battlefield 4. And, uh, you know, I had, had Battlefield 4 in the first days and I'm telling you, it wasn't that good. It was total crap and I believe Rainbow Six Siege had a similar problem. So, the first few days were bad and then they extended the week because um, you know Rainbow Six Siege wasn't working properly in the first four days. They decided to actually add a few more days and end the beta on October the 1st. So um, after watching all these gameplays about the beta, um, you know, some certain game modes here and there, um, all I can say is um, it's not my cup of tea. I mean Rainbow Six Siege, yeah, it looks pretty good and looks pretty much crowded. Uh, every single corridor is tight. And um, like my skills, I can probably do some kind of damage, but uh, not as much because uh, most of the time, you know, people are just going to be sitting in corners. I don't really see this game as a big potential game because, um, I don't know, man. I just, it has good, you know, this is the positive things about this game. Rainbow Six Siege. The positives is that you have badass gadgets. I like how you can build a wall and a random ass window, uh, uh, reinforce walls. Also, you have destructible environment. That's more destructible than Battlefield. I saw the game place and I'm like, God damn, you can shoot through the walls. What the fuck? You know, that's kind of that's kind of crazy. And I know a lot of you guys are gonna be saying, well, you can also shoot through the walls in Call of Duty, blah blah. This one, you know, when you shoot in the walls, is destructible too. So when you shoot through the walls, you leave a big ass hole, which is something crazy, man. Not even in Battlefield you can do that. So, destruct destructible environment, uh, badass gadgets, which you can build just a random ass wall on the floor or just reinforce walls. Uh, also, lay down um, some kind of trophy system. Kind of insane, man. I love the gadgets in that game. Uh, another thing is that, um, you know, before the round starts, you can actually locate people on Search and Destroy. So, that's something new. And um, the weapons selection is quite minimal. I didn't really see that much of a weapon selection because it's probably like a beta, you know, pretty much they restrict a lot of weapons so I might be wrong in that area. But as far as I know, there's a lot of restrictions on the weapon selection. Hopefully there's more to select once the game releases. So um, those are the positive things, you know, destructible environment and the gadgets and um, that's about it. The negative things about this weapon, this, this game, sorry. <laughs> um, is that, um, I don't know, with my kind of style, like rushing out there, getting on people's faces, taking out people like face to face and stuff, it's not going to work. <laughs> I need, I, you're going to have to have like a lot of patience in this game. Like it's not about Call of Duty that, you know, strategizing out there, pretty much talking with other people on the mics and letting people know what to do. And that's something that I don't like to do. Like I don't like when people tell me what to do because I already know what to ha like to do half of the time. And when people tell me like, "Oh, here, go there," and, or "Set up this, set up that," like I'm like, I don't have time for that, man. I'm already running over here, and you're telling me like halfway. I'm just not gonna not gonna freaking bother listening. So that's why I'm like, that's not my cup of tea, man. <laughs> I don't like when people talk to me, but I will try to get better along the way about communication and stuff because uh, that's something you do need when it comes down to teamwork and to winning games. But um, as far as I know, like Rainbow Six Siege, I don't know, man. I don't really see a lot of potential in you, uh, especially with no story. Wow. There's another game with no story. So you can pretty much uh, compare that game to Destiny. <laughs> Destiny didn't, didn't start with a story either. So uh, Rainbow Six Siege, just a multiplayer game. That game should only cost like 40 bucks then. 40 to 20 bucks because, come on, man. You're going to take, you know, there's no stories in that thing. I'm, I'm pretty sure there was a story in the previous Rainbow Six Siege or whatever, Rainbow Six. And um, because I did play it, Rainbow, Rainbow Six 2, I believe, or something. Las Vegas. I don't know sure what, what was it called, but I did play that game. It was a good story, but taking it away? Come on, man. I'm pretty sure your game is known for the story, not for the multiplayer. So as I said, guys, I don't want to talk about Rainbow Six Siege. It's not my cup of tea. I will not be picking it up. Maybe. I don't know. I don't really see a possibility. Maybe like a 10% chance I might pick it up. But if I do pick it up, I might show some gameplay here. But it's not going to be majorly. I'll probably show like only on weekends since Call of Duty Black Ops 3 will be already out during that time. So that's it, guys. If you guys want to see more Call of Duty Black Ops 3 multiplayer beta gameplay in the backgrounds, make sure to subscribe for more.